So we had this bookshelf when we moved in and we found out it was a hidden bookshelf, which means there's a storage room behind it. And we've been using it as a junk room. We had a bunch of files and stuff in there. Um, and so we wanted to turn it into a wine room. And so one of the cool things that, you know, having a hidden bookshelf, we always like the movies where there's the secret, you know, uh, statue or book or something that opens the door. And so I was searching online and I, I was able to come across this crane uh, latch and secret book uh, kit. And it was $140. And uh, I got it in the, the mail and it was a bunch of stuff. It was screws and, and latches and hinges and no instructions. <laughs> the, in fact, this book, I just so happened to uh, find online. It wasn't included with it. Uh, or on the website where I bought it. I think it was off Rockler. Uh, and so I basically just put it away and did nothing with it. So I thought, finally, I got my confidence level up. I found this book. I printed it out. And I started reading it. And it's like, you need a chisel. And you need you need pliers. And you need you know, all these different bits. And I thought, oh, my gosh, this is just making my head hurt. You know, the pictures were like this. Uh, and the instructions were written like stereo instructions. You know, it, it's you know, drill three quarter deep with one quarter drill spade. I mean, it's like just made my head hurt. So um, I had a moment of clarity and I was able to figure out. So I thought I would shoot a YouTube video on exactly how to do this. If you buy this kit, uh, could you make this yourself? Probably you probably could come up with parts of it, but it's worth probably the $140 just to have it look right. So let me show you how it works. So this book here in the middle is the book and you, you pull, when you pull back, it opens the door. So the things you, let me walk through the mechanisms first. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to drill your hole here. And it's a, that's actually pretty clear in the instructions. Uh, it's a, uh, now this is going to tell you 29 and 3 eighths from the ground, but that's only if you have the, the, the Invisador brand. If you, if you don't have the Invisador brand, it's really important that you measure whatever shelf and go right under the shelf, right under the shelf. And that's where you drill your, your hole. And it's going to be, um, you're going to use a five eighths bit here. Okay. You're going to do a five eighths bit. And what I did is I drilled the hole and then you want to slide this in and out so it doesn't bind or, or rub or anything, but what, and cause this is, this is needs to be able to slide easily. So you start with that. And if you want to, I don't know if you can zoom in under here. Um, so you've got, you've got this little T, this little crossbar here. And so you want to stick one end out there and then you have to cut um, uh, a groove. And I, it says here to use a, a chisel and everything or a, uh, an oscillating saw. I ended up using a jigsaw. And the way I did it, this plate comes with it, but, and I actually messed it up a little bit because I, this door is further apart than it's supposed to be. But, um, but what I did is I just drilled a hole here and I drilled a hole here and then I used a jigsaw and I cut between them. So and you need to do that in case you get locked in here and this is your way out. Okay. So you slide this hand in there, screw that on. And then I put my plate, the plate should line up. What, what I recommend is closing the door from the inside. Cause I had this much room before it would lock. Uh, most go snug, right? And then you drill your hole over here. I use a one inch drill into here, and then you put your plate. And the easiest way to do that, uh, to mark that, is to take uh, like a crayon or chalk and put it on the tip here, and then close this and, 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 and just let it hit the wall, and it'll leave an imprint on the wall of where the, the spot is. And I drill a one inch hole, and then you put this little cap in here, and so uh, two screws, you're good. And that, and you have to make sure that lines up. So step one is just getting the mechanism to work. And I would do it without the spring, okay? Uh, and then step two, see what it does here? Actually, look, look underneath and I'll, you can see the, how it works. So step two is this book. See that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so this is for the first part, is just getting that out there sliding it needs to slide in this groove easily and it needs to go in and out of this hole easily and that's without the spring i would put the spring on last uh, the next thing you need to do is the book itself so and i'll show you in this book here let me move these out of the way this 
this book opens. Okay. I don't know if you want to look in here. Um, there are, can you see it? There, there's a, a hinge on the bottom and you need to use the screws with the, the nuts on them. And you can see, see how it, op it lifts. So you're going to drill a hole right under, it needs to go straight down. And if you can, I don't know if you can get around there, uh, but there's a, a latch in the back. You probably might be able to see. Mm -hmm. And uh, right here. And so it, it grabs one end of the, the string or the, the wire and it goes through the hole. And then now if you look underneath, look underneath here. Uh, it's gonna, this is, this is where your hole is, right? And so you want this horizontal because your wire is gonna go through this hole and it's gonna turn, this needs to be at a 45 because it's gonna slide into here and it's gonna go down and then you're gonna complete your loop around here because essentially what you're doing is you're pulling this. So when you pull this book back, right, it's actually moving this in and out and unlocking the door. So that's why I broke it into sections. So phase one, I was just getting it to lock manually and then this spring, then you just add this spring, it comes with it. And that's what, that's what really makes it pop back. Make sense? And then uh, uh, this is a little pain. So what I did is you take the hinge and you put it under the book. Uh, and then you, that way you have the right distance from the wall. And then it'll just drop because gravity. And then you lift the book out of the way and then you bolt the hinge to the, to the shelf. And then once you have that bolted, then you have to lift this back. And I just used, um, I actually used a bend, bended socket set that bends on a drill. And I was able to kind of bolt it up nice and tight. But see that? I don't know if you can see how that just... It looks real nice. And then the next step is to disguise it. So uh, I do recommend the kit, crane, latch, and secret door. Uh, you can Google it. I'll put the link in our bio of where you can get it. Uh, you could probably try to make this yourself. The things that you probably would not be able to make yourself is this bar. I mean, if you were able to weld, these are also a certain size as is that. So it's probably worth the money. All these you could obviously get anywhere. And the book, the book is um, is all wood. And um, and it opens, because you have to be able to get inside there to bolt it. And you need something, because this is your, your, your handle essentially. So you need something pretty sturdy. You need something pretty sturdy to attach to. So I would not recommend, you know, buying something somewhere else and trying to, to rig it in some way. I would probably just get this book. Because one thing we talked about doing is taking like a paper cover off one of these other books and wrap in this so it doesn't look like it's probably the the, the secret book, uh, just so it blends in with all the other books. So we may still do that, uh, but this is step one. Getting this thing done is the step one to a wine room and we're gonna kind of document our journey as we go.